Hi, I'm Dr. Rajpal Singh. I'm the director of cardiology at Fortis Hospitals, Banargata Road. I'm also an advanced device therapist. I deal a lot with putting in ICDs, pacemakers, and combo devices for patients who are indicated for these treatments. Today, I'd like to talk to you about a very simple technology, but very useful technology, that is a pacemaker. This is what a pacemaker looks like, and this is something that we use when a patient's heartbeat is low. So when the patient comes in having giddiness or blackouts as a result of slow heartbeat, we do a host of tests which ensures that all reversible causes are, uh, or treatable causes are looked at and addressed. And if the patient has still got uh, uh, symptoms which would benefit from a pacemaker, then we advise the patient to have a pacemaker. This is a very simple, straightforward procedure wherein we get the patient to come in on the day of the procedure. We get the patient all cleaned up and we clean the top of the shoulder. If the patient is left-handed, we then we put it in the right on the right side. If the patient is right-handed, then we put it on the left side. We clean the area. This is all done in surgical aseptic precautions. We make a small little nick un underneath the left or right shoulder and we separate the tissue out and we find a little tiny vein. Through that vein, we put a wire to the top of the heart and we put a wire to the bottom of the heart. This is known as a dual chamber pacemaker. In some elderly patients or in some patients who've got heart rhythm abnormalities, we might choose, choose to just put a single lead pacemaker, that is a single wire which goes to the bottom of the heart or to the top of the heart based upon what is the requirement. We then test the device by asking the patient to cough, pant, take deep breaths in to ensure that the lead does not move. And once we are satisfied with it, then we connect the lead to this pulse generator, which has also got the battery. And we make a little pocket underneath the skin and we position it and we sew it up. This is a straightforward procedure, which takes about 45 minutes to an hour in experienced hands and definitely will alleviate problems with regarding to the heart rhythm abnormalities. So if someone has got what we call as a heart block and requires a pacemaker, the pacemaker will ensure that the heart is synchronized, the top and the bottom of the heart talk to each other quite well. And in some patients in whom the bottom of the heart just does not function, a lead that's placed there will ensure that there's a regular heartbeat that is generated. So the patients do not have any blackouts or symptoms. This is straightforward. And if it is indicated, you should go for it the risks with these procedures are very minuscule. All the best.